is Marianne Kilkenny, Women for Living in Community. And today, live from Asheville, North Carolina, I am talking to you a little bit about my experiences, about what people say about what's standing in their way or what stood in my way of living in community and that dream to make it a reality instead of a dream. And again, Mary Ann Kilkenny, womenforlivingincommunity.com is the website if you want to know more. And if you want to see these videos uh, on the website, so some of you that might not be all that familiar or wanting to uh, be on Facebook Live, then, you know, you can do it. You can go to womenlivingincommunity.com. So uh, I'm here to tell you a little bit about my experiences. And oftentimes the things that I hear are, that are, might be holding people back fall into not any, any splintered kind of thing, but a lot of the times it is, I hear, I don't have the money for it, or I have a lot of stuff I have to get rid of, like a household full of things or in furniture. So oftentimes people are doing that instead of having their dream of living in and around other people. They're living in and around inanimate objects and our stuff. And I, I completely understand it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not criticizing whatsoever. Uh, also another one is, I'm so busy, I'll do it later. Well, we're all getting older and later might be already here. At least that's my experience with it. And another one is, what if I change my mind? Or what if I don't like these people that I decide to hitch my wagon to? And you probably hear a lot of fear in that. And some of the other things that I've actually taken from my book, and that is uh, self-doubt, a lot of self-doubt. And it's one thing to have these things. And in, in my book, I have uh, the ogres and the dragons against pretty much community. And self-doubt, the opposite of self-doubt is faith. And uh, there's a saying that from Buddha said, Buddha says, faith is the beginning of all good things. But think of that as faith is the opposite of self-doubt. And also some of the ways to do that is to remind yourself that uh, I, don't, I don't, like with the vision boards I talked about last week, to remind oneself of what's really, really important and to meet with other people uh, who've done this because there are people who have done this I'm one of them. And there's lots of us that, that realize that this is a really important thing. I think always has been, always will be, more so now than ever. Then the, the part that I talk, just talked about was procrastination. I'll do it later. So the opposite of procrastination is passion. What's really important to me? and to be consistently reminded of that because we have a tendency to forget and other things happen. Certainly I did. And the other ones that uh, I, I will give you uh, what the ogres and the dragons are and the opposites would be distraction, perfectionism, and the all around just fear, fear of what could happen. So, and it's just such an amazing thing um, to be able to look at these things and then say, okay, that's all well and good, but I'm here to help you, not to, to outline what are the things that are going wrong. And so really the way you, some of the ways that you can really fight or have, be the resistance is a way is to have an accountability partner, somebody else who kind of, we the, the, the term, hold your feet to the fire to say, didn't you say you were going to do that budget by X date? Uh, hey, that calendar, how are you going to get to um, finding your group? Uh, have you started yet? You might not particularly like that person every day, but find that person. You can find a coach. Uh, obviously, understanding your finances, because I don't have the money to do this without any information about that. 
uh, might not be correct or you might think you have more money and not be able to do it. So knowledge is power. So remember that. And remember, hi everybody, send me your comments, send me your hearts, send me your questions. Uh, at some point, uh, I'm going to have a class. I think it's going to start October uh, the 7th, which is, I think, a Wednesday. Late afternoon, you'll, I'll get more information to you about that. And it's going to be on Zoom, and we're going to do it for four weeks with a bonus fifth week. And we're going to use my, my guidebook because, you know, I still like it, and I think it moves us through to getting to the next thing. And again... Um, my friend Linda Williams has said, don't forget about flexibility and boundaries. Those are things that will also help us move towards community and being able to allow us to ferret through what, and that's a really different thing, you know, flexibility, but having boundaries. And again, knowing oneself and what you're desiring in community is a huge plus. So next week. I'll be here again uh, and next week uh, I'm going to talk about the definition that I use of community and it's borrowed from so stay tuned as to what that is because I realize a lot of times I talk about community and many people have various different definitions which is not that unusual that we talk different words and don't really know what we're talking about. So next week, I'm gonna talk about my definition of community and I'd like to hear yours too. So I look forward to seeing you next week. And again, be here next week. It's about connection, information, and action. And I hope some of you will join me, whether it's at the class or I'll come along the way with your own group to do the guidebook. It'll get you to through all those things that I might have seen. All of them, many of them, because they're identified. I'm glad you're with me today. I really appreciate seeing all of the little hearts and the comments. Keep them coming. See you next week.